Hey, brother. Hey, so today I'm going to talk about yawning. Ben, did you know that we as humans don't know what the function of yawning is? I mean, it's 2012 for God's sakes. You'd think we'd have figured this out yet. And everyone does it, Ben. Fetuses do it. Birds do it. Horses do it. That shark is doing it right now. I want everyone to start counting the number of times they yawn during this video. So what is yawning, Ben? Yawning is the simultaneous inhalation of breath and stretching of the eardrums followed by an exhalation. So basically it's just yoga for your eardrums. So why do we do it? A lot of people seem to think it's when you're sleepy you yawn, but are you yawning because you're sleepy or does yawning make you sleepy? One popular opinion seems to be that we yawn because we are not moving a whole lot and we are tired and breathing less, therefore we're getting less oxygen. So yawning is a great way to bring a lot of oxygen in and get a lot of carbon dioxide out all at once. But there have been studies that shown that breathing more oxygen did not decrease the number of times you yawn, nor did breathing extra carbon dioxide increase the number of times you yawn. So I guess that's out. <sighs> Another more recent study suggests that yawning might be responsible for your brain not overheating. Kind of like the fans in the back of your computer works together with your sinuses, which people also don't know why we have, to release air into your brain and keep it from overheating. But I don't buy it. I've never gotten like a brain freeze or something as a result of a really great yawn. And why is it so contagious? If you're in class and you see someone yawn, look around after you finish yawning and see how many other people have also yawned. It's crazy because you don't have to be near the person who's doing it and you don't even have to see them do it. I caught a yawn over the the phone today, Ben. It's also kind of crazy that although it's mostly involuntary, you can make yourself yawn. Just start thinking about the word and open your mouth really big. See if you yawn. That is particularly interesting to me because your brain can make you do an involuntary action just by thinking of the word yawn. And it's so cool because yawn isn't the same word in every language, so other languages could potentially do this too. It just means that your brain has connected with a word that strongly. Let me ask you this, Ben. Is it rude to yawn in front of somebody? I never considered this rude at all. <laughs> Like, burping is rude to do in front of somebody, hands down. Excuse me. But it never occurred to me until like a month ago that yawning in front of other people might be considered rude. And I thought, wow, did mom just forget to teach us that or something? I don't think it is, because I mean, it's involuntary. I mean, it can't be much worse than sneezing in front of somebody or anything. Uh. So Ben, my question for you and everybody else is, how many times did you yawn in this video? And do you think it's rude to yawn in front of other people? Also, you are now aware of your breathing. See you in another life, brother.